Hello beautiful souls and welcome or welcome back to Molly's Cauldron. My name is Molly. It's nice to see you guys. Today we are going to be tapping in and asking spirit where your energy is and where your energy needs to be right now. Okay, so we're going to kind of see um, where your energy's at and to see what you can, what kind of action you can take, where your energy can be focused if you're needing to like feel a little bit better, if you're needing your energy to be uplifted a little bit, and um, if you're needing a little bit of encouragement in life right now. So if that sounds like you, keep on watching. We are using four different decks here today. This is going to be an oracle message here. I wasn't drawn to a, any tarot decks tonight, so I'm just going with my intuition, see what comes out here. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna get started here. So we have four different decks. Um, we have the Daily Crystal Inspiration, we have the Star Codes Astro, we have the Conscious Spirit Oracle, and then we have the Mindfulness deck right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started here with the Crystal deck, the Daily Crystal deck. So let's go ahead and ask Spirit, is there a specific crystal that you could be using right now to kind of help uplift your energy or help boost your energy, okay? Um, so it doesn't matter whether or not you have this crystal, whether or not you even work with crystals, it's more about the crystal and its meaning, its properties, and um, the messages that come with that crystal. That's really why we're using this today. But if you have the crystal, it makes it even stronger, it's even better. Um, if you don't have the crystal but you do want to work with it, you can go get yourself one at a local meta local metaphysical shop. Or if you don't have it, you can absolutely use clear quartz um, in place of any crystal you have. Okay, You can set intentions on the clear quartz. It's like an empty vessel waiting for intentions to be set. So keep in, keep that in mind. All right, we've got a card. <laughs> All right, let's see what it is. What crystal wants to work with you today? This is perfect. <laughs> Ocean Jasper. Schedule yourself in. Schedule yourself in. So immediately with this card, I'm feeling like for a lot of you, there's been a real struggle to prioritize yourself because of shame. Okay, um, I feel like you, you may have a lot of responsibilities in your life and you may have a lot you want to accomplish in life and you feel like, I'm only one person, how can I do all of this? And I feel that this collective, you don't schedule yourself in. <laughs> Or it's like, oh, well, yeah, I, 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 do, I do my breath work, you know, before I go to sleep. That's good. It's, you know, something is better than nothing. But you need to schedule yourself in the same way you schedule other people, the same way that you move your schedule around to fit someone else's needs in. Why can't you do that for yourself? Okay. Um, Ocean Jasper is giving this energy of, you know, needing to self needing to self-soothe and think about yourself and your needs. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like there's a big lack of considering your feelings, your perspective. I have paint on me. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Um, but yeah, there's a lack of considering your perspective. There's a serious concern with what everybody else is needing, okay? We're going to read out of the book here as well for the Ocean Jasper. 50, five O. Oh. Fives themselves talk of change, and it's kind of usually fives are seen as the cha uh, as uncomfortable change. You're having to leave your comfort zone in order to grow. Okay, so that ocean jasper can definitely keep you soothed, like feeling soothed and at ease as you kind of go outside your comfort zone. It can be very helpful. All right, schedule yourself in. There is always time for me time. It's okay to make yourself a priority. If you don't take care of yourself, it's hard to be available to take care of others and in an effective way and a healthy way. Schedule a little time every day to ensure that you are nurturing and nourishing yourself properly. Take a break and treat yourself in some small way. 
you have earned it. If your day is so full that you can't, <laughs> that you can't schedule in five minutes for yourself, then schedule 10. Self-care is not selfish. It's absolutely necessary in order to be the best version of you. It's so funny. I, I picked up on that energy of, oh, well, well, I'm being selfish. I'm not thinking of other people and everybody else is working really hard. So why should I take a break? You know, um, be careful with comparing yourself to others. We don't want to do that too much, okay? I'm a believer that it's okay to do that to some extent if it helps you grow. Like, oh my god, that person, they seem so happy and like, I'm so happy for them too. It's not a jealousy thing or a spiteful thing. It's like, I want to be where they're at, you know? It's idolizing. It is um, having someone to look up to, okay? Having goals in mind, that can be a good and productive thing. But we don't want to compare and go, well, they have this and I don't. Or, you know, um, this person works really hard. so. It would be really messed up if I took time off and they don't get that, you know. Um, I've actually had situations like that personally at work. I'm hearing specifically that could resonate for some of you. Um, at work, there could be people who are like, oh, must be nice when you have time off, you know. Like, let yourself dismiss those side comments that people give you, okay, because they're, they're not happy. Hurt people hurt people. All right, let's get to our core questions for this card. I want you guys to sound off down below in the comments and um, I encourage you to open up a little bit and maybe it can help encourage others as well to open up in the comments a little bit and talk about how they're dealing with situations in life. You know, maybe something that you have to say can help someone else, you guys. So don't be hesitant to share. You can be vague. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have to use names. <laughs> Core questions. What do you do for yourself? Do you put yourself last on your to-do list? And how can you make yourself more of a priority? That last question I want you to sound off down below. How can you make yourself more of a priority? It could be one question or it could be one word you guys, a couple sentences. Go ahead and drop it below. And next we have this beautiful affirmation. I care for myself because I am important. I care for myself because I am important. Today, make a commitment to schedule time for yourself. Also, sound off down below, you guys. Let me know later on if you want to pop back into the video later. What did you do to take care of yourself today? Share it with us. <laughs> All right, so that is what we have here. For the daily crystal cards next let's get to our uh what is it called <laughs> star codes i almost said daily astro star codes astrology we are going to see if there's any specific aspects that are affecting you at this moment any specific signs maybe if there's a specific um energy that's kind of predominant in your life at this time to kind of see where your energy is at okay let's see where is your energy right now how is this collective doing on their energy i'm feeling called to this one so we'll go for it capricorn achieve okay some of you guys are working hard huh this is where your energy's at makes a lot of sense why you need to schedule yourself in okay um capricorns are known for their work ethic okay achieve yeah like i'm gonna work my ass off and achieve 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 and then i'm gonna achieve even more okay we also have the number 10 here i'm gonna show you a little bit closer the number 10 um take a look as well take a look as well at this beautiful imagery here i just love these cards so much i could stare at it for days i feel like there's new things that i see in these cards every time i look at them um i love this <laughs> i feel like this capricorn energy um for some of you i'm feel i'm getting two messages here there's a group of you that are watching that um it's like you're working super hard already and like you're not there's no way to make time for yourself. And then there's another end where I was talking a little bit about shame. Um, so you could be shaming yourself like you're not doing enough, but you're not seeing like how much you are doing, okay? Um, and I feel like this is why you don't schedule yourself in at times. The cats are fighting, if you can hear it. 
Um, because you're like, no, I'm not working hard. You literally don't, you're shaming yourself so much and telling yourself that you're not accomplishing things when you are, okay? So don't miss, okay, where your energy is going. Um, just because you're not at that goal that you have, just because you're not at, um, in the place you quite want to be at, it doesn't mean you're not making progress, okay? Capricorn energy is, is really predominant here, so it's like, yeah, you're putting in the effort, you're putting in the energy, and that's why you're needing to schedule yourself in and prioritize self-care and being there for yourself, because you're working so hard, okay? So we're going to do the same thing here with the star codes uh, card here with Capricorn. We're going to tap in and see and read out of the book here. Um, signs. We have Capricorn. 36. 36. Capricorn asks us to dive deep into the sea of collective consciousness to find a worthy dream and then work on it and walk it to the more, walk it to the mountaintops. Capricorn, the cardinal earth sign, is ruled by Saturn. It is a symbol of Sorry, its symbol is a mere goat, half sea creature, half mountain goat, and the sign is connected to our bones and knees, the equipment we use to climb stairs and achieve our goals. The sun shines in Capricorn December 21st to January to January 20th. Okay, so I'm going to read you two sections out of this because it is quite long. I don't want to sit here and bore you guys while I read, um, but right here we have a this card seen in the form of a challenge and seen in the form of a gift. Now, I said I felt like there's two groups of you, so I'm going to read both of these, okay? If you're interested in me um, sharing the rest of this card with you, I can. Just let me know in the comments below. The challenge position. So if you're seeing this Capricorn energy as the challenge, like I said, like, oh, I'm not working hard enough, da, da, da. listen to this message. Keep an eye on the power dynamics. Without integrity, Capricorn ambition can, can enable gross manipulation. Control a tendency to become controlling or manipulative when feeling anxious. Do not fall in love with others' competence. Let it inspire your own. Oh, I was literally just talking about this, okay, where it's like, this need to not be, and I feel like it's not that you're manipulating others. I think you're manipula manipulating yourself here in this challenge position, okay? Like, I'm not doing enough. I'm not this. I'm not that, you know? Just be careful with how you're attacking yourself. A reminder that in the tarot, it's funny, I wasn't called to any tarot decks, but... <laughs> The Capricorn energy in the Major Arcana is the Devil card, okay? So that is like negativity. Um, it's heavy energy. It's manipulation, like it says here, okay? It can be, all right? Those are the challenge parts of that energy. Now, if you see this card as a gift or in a more positive light, listen to this message. Wisdom grown over time and through mature experience is the gift of Capricorn as is connection to the spiritual traditions and disciplines that offer a sound foundation for our evolution. Okay, I love this too, because I feel like this is kind of talking about how Capricorn is an earth sign, and it's it's very grounded and centered and stable energy, okay? Um, you know, like I said at the beginning of this card, is that like Capricorn is kind of known um, for their hard work, their work ethic, um, achieve, you know, there's this energy of, you know, having some kind of big goal in mind here, okay, and there's also this talk of spiritual traditions and disciplines, and I like this too, because we had to schedule yourself in, so if that really sounds like, sounds like you right now, and you're really needing to, you know, I'm even kind of getting hermit mode energy a little bit, which is Virgo, um, still earth energy, so, there is a talk here of getting very grounded and very connected with self, okay? Um, and I love that it's the mirror goat, so it's like this half fish, half goat. And we have ocean jasper, so we have this kind of need for balance here with earth and with water, okay? I feel like there's something there, so take what resonates, okay? That is what we have here. So those are the only two I have booklets for, so we're going to kind of pull... 
These are going to be like the main energies here for this reading. Now, let's pull some cards from the Conscious Spirit. We're going to see how, if you're wanting to improve your energy, how can you do that? Where can your attention and your energy be going at this time? Let's see. Where can their attention and energy be going at this time, Spirit? <laughs> Wow, I bet you this I bet you with this card that the spiritual traditions really really popped out to you in that Capricorn message. We have number 3, transformation. You are going through a transformation, okay? You are you are in it's so funny too because I just felt I just picked up on hermit mode energy and I feel like for some of you you're literally hiding in a cave, okay? It's wow, it's interesting though. Because it's giving self-care, it's giving I'm focused on myself, but where are the spiritual practices I may be calling some of you out with love, with love, with love? Okay, where are this, Where is the consistency? Okay, and I'm going to be, I'll be truthful with you guys here too. I struggle with this too. Consistency is really hard. It's a really hard thing to achieve when you have ADHD. Consistency is next to fucking impossible. <laughs> but you can try. Okay, spirit is saying like, if you find yourself being like, oh, that's too hard, like, oh, I don't know if I could do that, you know, um, you know, I can't get consistent with it, so I'm just going to take time off of it. And then you end up not getting back to your spiritual practice. And then you're like, oh, well, let me pick up this new thing that I'm really interested in. You do that for a little while, and then it drops off. So Spirit is saying, it's not that you're not putting in the energy, because that's not the case. With the transformation card being here, it's like, yeah, I'm, de I'm deep in this cave, and I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how to get how to find my way out of here, but I'm not in a rush. So I feel like this collective, you're not in a rush to get like healed. You're very aware that it's a long drawn out journey and a process. Um, but I do want you to know with this transformation card here, that sooner that rather than later, you're going to be seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, like quite literally here with the transformation card. Okay. And it also says, I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness, to find true happiness. And look at the owl up here as well. I'm getting very drawn to him in the corner there. I almost didn't see him um, with this beautiful owl. So I also like her wings. It's giving like bat wings. <laughs> Maybe there's times that you just want <laughs> that you just want to hang from the top of a cave and just be an animal and like not be maybe be a mere goat <laughs> and not be human. I feel like there's a lot of you wanting to escape and wanting to hide in a cave. But remember you guys, you know, yes, you're needing to schedule yourself in and spend time with yourself, but it's also not a good thing to hide. Okay, so there could be a there could be a need for a little more balance between these two things. Okay, just because you're on your spiritual journey doesn't mean you have <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> 100%. I'm such a cancer. I definitely do this. It doesn't mean you have to hide from the world while you go through that, okay? <laughs> if you guys follow me, you know. <laughs> I definitely love to go hermit mode. I'm a Virgo rising. So I, between being a cancer that hides in its shell to being a Virgo that like represents the hermit, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> um, and then I'm a Libra moon. So like then I also want to be super outgoing and like love everybody at the same time. So it, it can be challenging at times, you know. So take what resonates. I felt the need to share that with you guys. So you may even feel some of that energy sometimes okay or right now you could be feeling that like my energy wants to be in all these different places at once but I have to figure out how to be how to even it all out okay you don't have to be everywhere all at once but your energy needs to be balanced and evened out okay what else wow <laughs> I was about to say what else can they be doing number 40 at day's end rest at day's end, rest. This is one of my favorites. Um, not only because she's like a beautiful green fairy, but she's c surrounded by these black cats. <laughs> okay, so I really feel that this is necessary here. And look at the beautiful birds flying there and the sun setting. So pretty. Okay, um, this one says, I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. 
Okay, so if you're struggling with this, I feel like you guys, you might be really wanting to connect with spirit or wanting to connect with spirit guides that you've lost, con like you've lost connection with a little bit, okay? Um, I also feel like there's kind of two messages here. There's also just a need to rest, okay? It's funny, I actually brought up earlier, I said I feel like you like do some breath work before you go to sleep or something. So at day's end, you need to rest. Get off, like, I'm hearing uh, detox from your phone, detox from technology. Don't wa don't be watching. This is not, like, a rule I'm putting on you, but these are suggestions, okay? Don't watch TV before, like, a few hours before you go to bed. Make sure your phone is plugged in elsewhere in, in a whole other room if you can. Okay, this is something I've been doing, and it has completely upgraded my insomnia, <laughs> okay? Getting the phone out of the room is amazing. If you need an alarm, go to Walmart, 10, 15 bucks. You can get probably cheaper, actually. Get yourself a cheap alarm clock, the old school way, set it, and you've got some way to wake up, okay? Um, I mean, if you have an Alexa or a Google or whatever, you know, you can use those too. Um, but it's about screen time, certain amounts of time, like before bed, just be careful with that, okay? At day's end, rest. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind. Okay, so if you if it resonates with you, go out into nature as well. Um, something I like to do more in the spring and the summer um, is I go for like a little walk before I'm gonna go in and go to bed and like kinda get settled for the night. Um, I really like to take a walk, get some fresh air through my body, and it helps my sleep so much. It really, really does. Um, and it doesn't have to be crazy, you know? Like, there's some nights I walk for a long time and listen to music, and it's a whole thing. Some nights I'm like, you know what? I want to do the walk. I'm going to go around the block, <laughs> you know, just one time. It doesn't have to be crazy, you guys. You know, there's a lot of talk here of self-care practices, and spirit is like there's this preconceived... Um, idea that it has to look a certain way or be a certain way or be a certain amount of time to count and it's like that message came up came through in the beginning too of like if you're trying that's enough you know what I'm saying like putting in the effort is enough yes you could be doing more I definitely am hearing that from spirit but we're not gonna like shame yeah spirits like we're not gonna shame you and make you feel bad like, well, you're not doing enough, so it doesn't count, you know, like, no. And you need to tell yourself and remind yourself of that same exact thing, okay? Let's pull one more here. One more card. <clears throat> Let me get some uh, drink of water. Make sure you guys are hydrating, okay? Stay grounded. <laughs> okay. Let's get you guys one more card from this deck. And then we'll close off with a mindfulness card. What else can they be doing at this time, spirit? Or where can their energy be going? <laughs> yes! Uh, oh, I love this. Spirit awakens. One. Look at the beautiful earth. Ah, okay. I embrace my soul purpose and align all aspects of my life to it fully. Y'all, this is crazy to me because I recently just got a download from my guides personally <laughs> that I need to help others awaken. It is something that I kind of felt at the beginning of my spiritual journey, but I, I always told myself, like, you don't know enough yet. You don't know enough yet to help people awaken and to wake people up and stuff. Um, but I'm going to shout out one of my fellow readers here, Miss Franny. I just watched one of her live shows the other night, and she, like, reawakened that within me <laughs> of, like, oh, my God, like, that is my purpose. Like, I, I've known my purpose. Like, I know I'm, I know I'm a tarot reader, and I have these beautiful gifts, and they're in, insanely accurate and, and beautiful, and I'm so grateful for them. But I have been scrambling around the past four years of my life figuring out how exactly I want to give that to the world. <laughs> and it just kind of all came together and like hit me that night of like, this is what I'm meant to do is just come on, you know, because she talks so freely and like just lets things flow out, you know? And it's like, that's what I need to do. I get so involved with what I want to per like to be perceived as or I should say, I did. <laughs> I used to get very concerned and like, 
oh, well, I want to come across a certain way. I'm not like that anymore. I have completely eliminated that from my content of like, oh, well, I sound this way or I messed up my words and da da da. I used to be super, super insecure about that shit and I really don't care anymore. <laughs> I have ADHD, you know, I have a little bit of tism as well. So like, I'm going to fuck up. I'm going to make mistakes. That's okay. I'm human. You're human. We understand each other. You know, fair's fair, fair. <laughs> kind of energy. So with that being said, Spirit awakens here. This is an energy of tapping into your soul's purpose. This is why I shared my little story with you because it is one hell of a journey to figure out what the fuck that is. But you have to start. You have to start somewhere, even if it's completely the wrong direction. That has to happen, okay? You have to figure out, you know, what it is that that means the world to you. What in your life has purpose what in your life makes you feel alive when you help people or when you do something or create something or make something or craft an idea together or maybe you've helped people in the past maybe you're a healer spirit awakens maybe you're a healer okay i want to show you this one again look at you have the earth in your hands you guys and this beautiful green energy all around the earth and this blue energy up here connecting with spirit this person or this fairy looking up to the heavens, looking up to the sky and connecting and bringing that beautiful energy down to earth. It's like earth protector energy, earth angel energy. Okay, so take what resonates there, you guys. And that's funny to me, too, because we have so much earth energy coming forward <laughs> with Capricorn. We had the Virgo energy with the hermit coming forward, you know days and rest stay grounded i'm even drinking out of that cup like <laughs> so weird but you know take what resonates um so yeah align your align sorry it says i align all aspects of my life to it fully so how can you know what we're asking what can you do right now to kind of bring your energy up uplift your energy uh, start aligning all aspects of your life to this purpose okay um, if there's things holding you back, if there's a person in your life you know is toxic and you've been struggling to cut them out of your life or to end this toxic cycle or a way of thinking that doesn't serve you anymore, remind yourself of your purpose. I'm here for a greater purpose. Whether or not you know what that purpose is, remind yourself that there is a greater purpose. There is a divine plan here and there's a greater energy and there's a there's a bigger reason why I'm going through this, especially if you're going through something difficult, okay? You will know sooner rather than later what your purpose is with this card showing up for you, okay? One, I'm also hearing two, with the number one here, for some of you, there could be this energy of like starting over, okay? This, take what resonates, but it's like there's a project or a business maybe, and it's like, oh, now I have a whole new idea, and I want to go this direction instead. And I'm hearing, take the risk. Go for it. Capricorn energy. Achieve your goals. Go for it. I'm going to show you this beautiful card again. <laughs> Go for it, okay? Schedule yourself in. Make sure we have this, you know, good balance between work and play and work and personal life. Make sure there's balance there, okay? And this transformation is going to be a lot more easeful for you. At days and rest, make sure you're scheduling yourself in, okay? These ca these two cards go hand in hand, for sure. Um, get yourself a little piece of ocean jasper or clear quartz, okay? And sit outside and get connected with nature, if it's winter time for you like it is here for me, you know, just rest at the end of the day. This is this is inspiring me not to bring my devices up to my bedroom with me tonight before I go to bed. Um, you know, connect with cats, you know, take what resonates. <laughs> but look at the the black cats in her lap and all around her. Okay, remember cats um, are able to absorb negative frequency and kind of uplift ours um, to their high frequency as well. Okay, so take what resonates there if you've got cats. Get connected with them, okay? They're there to help you. Don't be afraid to ask your cats for, for their healing, for their protection. I will literally do that all the time with my cats. I will say, like, I need you to <laughs> transmute this energy for me, bubs. <laughs> and it's beautiful. All right, 
let's go here um, and let's use this deck next and um, see if there's a specific mindfulness practice that you can have yourself focus on right now. So for this deck, we have, um, you'll see there's different, yeah, different backs here. So we have awareness, gratitude, kindness, self-care, awareness, gratitude, what was it? <laughs> kindness and gratitude. All right. What mm, mindfulness practice, <laughs> which mindfulness practice is coming forward for these beautiful souls? Which mindfulness, oh, you see that? I couldn't put it back. We're going to take this one. No surprise, it's self-care. <laughs> All right. I, wow, wow. Make yourself a priority. While most of us would like to have a well-rounded self-care routine, we struggle to forget the time to better, let me say that again. While most of us would like to have a well-rounded self-care routine, we struggle to forge the time to better care for ourselves. The key to keeping your self-care practice is finding activities that bring you great joy and reserving time to make them happen. Make self-care a non-reschedulable appointment with yourself. Schedule yourself in. <laughs> Schedule it in. Schedule it in your calendar and set reminders if needed. Wow, I want you guys to go ahead and screenshot this, okay? There we go. It's time to make yourself a priority. I mean, I don't know what else I could possibly say here. <laughs> it is really time to consider what it is you are fucking needing, okay? And with love, anyone who's questioning this, making you feel bad about it, fuck them. Seriously, it's that kind of attitude here. It's like you have to say, like, I don't care. I don't care that you have this opinion. I need to focus on me and do what's good for me, okay? And it's like period, point blank. Like, there's no more conversation. It's like this reminder that no is a complete sentence. You don't have to explain shit to anybody, okay? I don't understand. Like, it bothers me. It triggers me <laughs> because it's like people are, people f these days, because of social media and this, like, instant messaging thing that we created, <laughs> believe that because instant messages exist, they should receive instant messages. And that's not necessarily the case, okay? Um... And that goes for every single one of us, okay? I really am hearing strongly a reminder that... That's the story. Sorry. <laughs> that, um, you know, you are important here. You are the number one priority in your life. And if you're not, you should be, okay? I understand if you have kids, they are definitely high on the priority list, but you should still be number one, okay? And the reason that I say that is because a lot of parents forget about themselves because they're like, well, my kid's more important, my kid's more important. There's truth to that, but you are also important. If you're not around for your kid, that will affect them. If you're not emotionally available for your kid, that will affect them. If you're not taking time and, and scheduling yourself in, Neither will your kid. I feel like you need to hear that truth, some of you guys. And I say that with love so you can reflect and grow and choose a different route. Okay? So, I hope this resonated with you guys. 34 minutes on the clock. <laughs> 34.04. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, I hope this resonated with you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you guys drop down below. Answer those questions that we got for the Ocean Jasper card. I'd love for you guys to share. Um, I'm going to do the same. If you're interested to see what I put, go ahead and check it out in the comments below. Make sure you guys like this video. Comment down below. Share with me, you guys. Even if you don't want to open up quite yet, just say, hey, it resonated with me, Molly. Thank you so much. You know, Just let me know that you guys are here and you're watching and you're enjoying um, the likes and the comments, they really help other people see stuff, okay? That's why I say, like, even if you just comment something, it's like, that's what I'm really needing from you guys at this time, because those who are watching these videos, you've been watching me 
um, and those who are interacting with the videos you've been watching me and you're my regulars and I appreciate you and I love you but I do want to reach more people I want to reach more souls spirit awakens like I am really wanting to find more people especially here on YouTube um, to you know get this truth out to more people <laughs> um, and I need more interaction for that to happen so I'm asking you know, in exchange for this free reading, do that for me if you don't mind. <laughs> I love you all so, so, so much. And your continued love and support for me over these years means the fucking world to me. And I hope you know that and I hope you see it. Um, I will be back with more very soon. You're going to see more of me here on YouTube. All right. I love you so much. Bye.